Bill Shorten, thanks for your time tonight. Always good to see you, Brown. Pleasure to be here. I love your show, incidentally. Beg your pardon? My show? Yeah. What show? Q&A. Q&A? Q&A's not my show, Brian. I beg your pardon? I thought you were the host. No, no, no. Tony Jones is the host of Q&A. Well, why isn't he on it as much as you are? Well, he's got other commitments. Very busy man, Tony. I'm there to provide certainty. People like to see the same thing. Right? Sure. I mean, Bill Shorten, you're struggling a bit, aren't you, the government? No, you're down, well, you're well down in the polls. Well, if you read the polls properly, Brian, we're still well ahead of... Um, Flood damage and live cattle export. Brian, They're the only two things underneath you. My point, Brian, is that if you read the polls properly, the electorate is quite clearly saying to both the government and the opposition, we're not happy, we, we don't like the government, but we don't see the opposition as a viable alternative. And there's not an election for 18 months. Well, you hope there won't be. Trust me, Brian, there won't be a bloody election for 18 months. But Bill Shorten, this is a crisis, isn't it? I mean, you've got a majority of one and Craig Thompson's future hangs in the balance. Well, I don't know about that. Craig's an excellent member of Parliament. He's What's doing his a electorate great job. again? Pardon? What's his electorate? His electorate is the yeah. Honourable Member for Knife Edge. Ah, oh, right. And where's that Knife Edge? Up near Damocles. You know where Damocles is? Oh, yeah, that's up past Nailbiter. Well, it's not but, quite that far uh, north. It doesn't go any further north than about Dyer Peril. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. about we, the border. Yeah, which is between touch and go. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. OK, but Mr Thompson's under investigation for alleged misuse of a credit card. He is, Brian, and that investigation will go ahead under the pr appropriate authority, as indeed it should. As indeed it should. But if he's found to have breached any of the provisions of the Act, he might have to resign. Well, he might equally not have to resign, Brian. You're alleging he might have to. I mean, that's just okay. an allegation. All right. OK, he might allegedly have to resign. Yeah. And if he does, there allegedly have to be an alleged violation. That is allegedly the case, as I allegedly understand it. But yeah. Mr. Uh, Mr Shorten, this is taking an awful long time. Uh, what is the actual process? Well, the, the process is laid out in the Fair Work Act, and yes, we wrote this. It. I'm familiar with this legislation. Let me read the relevant provision. If it is found that there has been a breach of this act, the person or persons involved... Excuse me, hang on a second, Bill Shorten, we've got a problem. What problem? Hang on. Don, I think we've got a sound yeah, problem. Let me just read this, Brian. We wrote this legislation. Yeah, yeah, OK. The person or persons involved will remain in the parliament... No, we've got a problem. Finding. I mean, it's incredibly, it's incredibly slow. Well, I'm just reading from the act. Here, look, sure. you, you read it. You well, can read it yourself. OK. Um... Will remain in the Parliament for a hundred years while reasons are found to further delay a finding. Exactly. Well, when will all this happen? As fast as possible, Brian. Lovely to see you again. Good on you, Brian.